about six years ago, Scott McPherson, who was working with me as far as golf course designs and things, I happened to go into his office the one day and saw these kind of old clubs in the corner. Kind of wondering what the heck he's doing with these old things. And he said, oh, I play hickory golf every so often, da 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 So I went out and played Musselboro just about a few miles up the road from him and uh, kind of caught the bug from there and thoroughly enjoy it. I think if you look at it in any other sort of sporting terms, you know, you could say tennis players going out there with the old tennis rackets with wooden frames and things and in, in, in the old style. It was just nice to feel in some ways, you know, what those people did in the early days. And hickory is no different from any other, like tennis or any other things. It's, uh, it's nice to have the feel and go back in time. And I think when you play the World Hickory Championship, you see some very fine golfers. And, but I think just the whole atmosphere of it, you know, to, to see the clothing and, and wearing plus, you know, plus fours for the first time ever in, in my life. And they're very comfortable, I must say. I, I enjoy And the tree's been very nice to have in this sort of cold weather at Panmure. No, I, I haven't lost the love of that. I mean, I'm, I'm always keeping my ears and eyes open when new stuff's coming out and want to try it and everything goes further and better and straighter and they've been saying that for many years but uh, you know when I hit a good hickory shot there I get probably more reward for it because it's unpredictable uh, you know graphite is a bit more predictable than playing with hickory shafts so when you do come off with a good shot it's uh, very rewarding. I think you become a better scrambler you try to preserve shots the best you can and invent shots. You may not always have the right amount of clubs in the bag that you want to use for that particular shot, so you have to invent an idea. Or you might choke down on the club a little more and to, to get the same job done. While modern golf, we're very much at numbers now. It's 245, oh, it's my three wood. Where if I was hickory, I would say, well, I can't reach that 245. I've got to try and get into position and miss that bunker. So it's a lot of strategy involving as well so yeah it's, it's good fun. What comes to my mind very clearly that you know we, we play a lot shorter course so if some courses would turn the and said we only have hickory golf several days a week but we're going to play from the ladies tees so now you're only you're only playing a kind of 6,500 yard golf course so that itself can save probably 40 minutes to an hour just on a, on a shorter course. And probably then, with anything else, it'd probably be more fun for a lot of the, the average um, player at plays to play hickory off a short course, good chances of making birdies, and enjoy the atmosphere. I've talked to uh, Tiger a few years um, he said, you're interested in hickory, and I said, yeah, I, I play quite a bit, and you've obviously seen me practicing on, as Augusta on the practice ground with hickory clubs prior to playing in the par three course. And uh, so I ended up getting a few clubs sent out to him by Tad Moore, but I, I think he either broke two out of the three, I may have hit them too hard, I don't know, but uh, I haven't heard back since if he's, you know, sort of ordered a set of Tad Moore or whatever, but... Uh, he has, you know, he's interested because he's, he, he likes the kind of history of the game as well. He respects that. And, you know, what the guys did in the Forefathers and the Arnold Palmers and before that, um, what they achieved in golf around the world and put it on the limelight. The appeal is the uncertainty and playing with probably less clubs that you would normally carry. A half set can range between about five and six clubs. I've got basically a full set, which is still only about 12. It sounds a lot, but um, you know, there's, there's a few times you've got to try and sort of um, make good. You know, you've got a gap and then you want to have that certain club you don't have. But when you have a half set, that's even more so. You've really got to uh, use your, your feel and your instincts and trying to cover that distance you're, you're trying to get. So. Uh, it's a lovely way of playing. It's a, a light bag with a little pencil bag with, you say, normally nine clubs or whatever, and, and on you go. I, 
I would say it can only grow. Um, hopefully, you know, likes of myself being involved um, and playing a lovely course here at Pan Muir, which is you know an old traditional, almost your St Andrews type style or Presswick style, with all the nice locker rooms and the trophies and the history and all the pictures that are out there and the clothing. I mean, the clothing is nice to be part of it. I mean, it's, it's nice to get away from the stay dry and the slim look and then the sort of McAvoy looking like Superman. Uh, we're, not, we're all older players. We don't look like Superman anymore. We, <laughs> we used to do that maybe at one time, but not now. So to wear the plus fours and nice sweaters and uh, patterns and, and feel part of the, the game history, it's, uh, it's really very rewarding. And, you know, I don't come here just because, it, you, know, you know, there's money involved. There's a little bit of prize money, but I'm here because I, I enjoy playing hickory golf. And the people that are playing hickory golf have come from all parts of the world, which is amazing. They come a long way for a, a week's golf and they all thoroughly enjoy it. They're a great bunch of people.